What's up everybody, my name is Jay Ward. I'm a musician and recording artist and I'm here to give you a couple lessons regarding the major scale, some tips and tricks that I've used along the way to help me get to where I am today. I've watched a lot of tutorials and lessons and I hate the long introduction so we're going to get straight into it. Today and through this whole series we're going to be talking about the G major scale. So if you ever have to reference it, we're in the G major scale. The first step that you need to know about is the number system. What we're going to do is assign each note in the G major scale a number. So for instance, if you look on the chart right here, the diagram, it'll show your G. We're going to number that 1. Your A is 2. B is 3. C is 4. D is 5. E is 6. F sharp is 7, and then you're back to your G, your 1 or your 8. Now if you look in the other diagram, you can do it the exact same way, but this time we're going to go horizontally down the neck. So G is 1, A is 2, B is 3, C is 4, D is 5, E is 6, F sharp is 7, and you're back to your 1 or your 8, G. So, remember those numbers because that's going to be very important for this entire series. We're going to be referring to chords. I might say, go to your 2 chord or go to your 3 chord. Regardless of the key we're in, these numbers will remain the same. So, for instance, just because we did G, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 1, we can do the same thing if I say, hey, let's play in the key of A major. Same thing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Back to your 1. So it works for any key. And most of the tricks I'm going to be showing you are going to be able to work for any key that you're in. Now if you need to review that number system, please rewind this video, go back and listen again because like I said, this is going to be very important for us moving forward. So take your time.